Well, students are the focus of the state's new school report that's just out. It talks about classroom sizes, growing districts, and student performance, but what about the teachers? Number 7's Jennifer Kovaleski has been looking at the reports. And Jen, you asked Governor Hickenlooper specifically about teacher pay. Ann and Shannon, the governor says that we have a chronic teacher shortage, and low pay is a big part of that, something we need to fix. Our state right now is dealing with a teacher shortage, a, a lot of those in rural communities. A lot of people say that goes hand in hand with low teacher pay. Do you think that needs to change? Yeah, I think there are a lot of reasons why we don't have enough teachers, but clearly it's a fact. And, and clearly teachers pay is a significant part of that. Uh, but we're having trouble attract, we don't have enough nurses, we don't have enough uh, software programmers, we don't have, I mean, we don't have, an, you go talk to restaurants, they can't find people to be dishwashers. So we're, we have shortage all over the place, but I think it is more chronic with teachers, and I think in, in, with teachers it's, it's more essential, right? If we don't have quite enough dishwashers, now my restaurant friends are going to hate me, but it's not the same as not having enough teachers. How do you fix it? Well, I think that you've got to look at several things. One is you've got to find more pay for teachers to attract uh, teachers and, and, and convince them to stay. So many teachers leave after three or four years that we're, lo we're losing that investment we make in taking a, a young teacher. And, and really, after, you know, after three or four years, they're just beginning to learn how to be really good teachers. So we've got to figure out how to motivate them to stay, and compensation is part of that. And so we're going to have to find more resources. The governor also says we need more funding for schools, something that state lawmakers would need to pass. And I know you two also talked about partnerships with businesses. How would that work? This is actually really interesting. He says that several districts have already done this. They basically partner with local businesses mm -hmm. to guarantee teachers jobs over the summer. That way they can kind of make up for some of that low pay. And he'd like to see additional districts start doing more partnerships like this. Yeah. Yeah. All Thank right. You, Very good. Thanks, Jen.